is over Boxburg, keeping watch for danger. Sure enough, Scud the Crud is here, threatening the peace of this town. Rupert's arch rival rides his exterminatron, a powerful instrument of destruction. Its weapons aim. Our hero takes to the sky to avoid risking the lives of innocent victims. Scud the Crud is armed with the latest weaponry, while Super Rupert has nothing but his flight cape and his wits. And when it comes to wits, nobody is a match for Super Rupert. Take that, Scud the Crud! I'm hit! She's going down! She's going down! Help! You cannot learn if you're not listening to me when I'm talking to you! Do you understand me? Uh, you bet, Mrs. Lord. Every word. Then put away your sketchbook. Wake up, Rube. Now, as I was saying, in honor of the expansion of the Boxborough Airport, each team will create a project on the topic of flight due this Friday. The best project wins a helicopter ride. That's gonna be me. You guys will be eating my dust. Go fly a kite, Scud. Now, you'll be glad to know I've posted the results of the history test in the hall. Class dismissed! What's up? I don't know my marks, that's for sure. So you mean they're bottom of the list. So history's not your best subject. I don't have a best subject, group. You're so smart. Well, you skipped a grade. Me and we're grade seven and still failing. Hey, look, it's the bottom feeder. Lay off, Scud. You think you'd remember the test questions from last year? <laughs> See? Everything I touch fails. Well, we're gonna kick some butt in our flight project. You should find someone else. I'll only bring you down. No way. Listen, I've got this wicked idea. What? Build a flight emulator. You mean a flight simulator? Nope. This will actually let you fly. Really? Yeah. Cool, eh? Yeah. Scream. <laughs> Too much starch. Way too much starch. Ah, uh, is it any wonder they didn't give you the part in that sudsy soap laundry commercial? Oh, you can't do anything right. Hey, I smell. Smoke! Oh, no! No, not again. Oh, oh, come on, stop it. Stop it, you're gonna start the smoke alarms. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. Stop it, you stupid machine. Can't you see there's no fire? Oh, forget it. Hey, good handling, Dave. What is going on in here? Oh. Dinner. We're copying a comic book. We can learn from the Mighty Flighter. We're the Mighty Flighter's comic book hero. But human, no special powers. All he had was a cape which he used as a glider. So you want to copy his cape design? Exactly. We just need to make it aerodynamic and light. We've only got two days. How about something that's actually possible? This is totally simple. You staple special ultralight paper to the frame, strap it on, and voila! I have never been so insulted. Come on, sis, don't be no, that way. I do my best around here. If you think you can run the household better, then you just go ahead and try. My cape! My dear nephew, from now on, you'll have to come to my place if you want cookies. More cookies? I can't do anything right. Oh, the feeling. Dad, we should do something. Ah, uh, give her time, Rube. She'll cool her jets. Speaking of jets. <sighs> <laughs>
The aviation cloth works better. Oh. Yeah, but the uh, mighty flighters keep us stronger than balsa wood. Hey, guys. Hey, Alicia. What's going down? You are by the looks of things. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Patterson, I need your birdcage. A birdcage? What for? Our flight project. Carolyn's dad keeps carrier pigeons. Uh, what? You're setting one free? Yeah, so they'll come back. Oh, cool. Carolyn and I are definitely going to win that helicopter ride. Not so fast. <laughs> what are you guys building? A human flight emulator. <laughs> Patterson, this is the real world, not one of your comic books. Tell that to the Wright brothers. Tell that to Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space. Tell that to... What? Let's get back to work. Look, Rupert, I cannot afford another failure. Fine, then. Bye. I'll do it myself. Build a rocket? That's perfect. Thanks. Do you know how to build one? No, but my mom's an engineer. She could help us. She can make it. Yes, I can hear the helicopter sounds now. Oh, come on, Ernie, just the afternoon. No way. He's so mean. Tomorrow is my grandmother's 70th birthday, and he won't let me have any time off. Oh, you have a grandmother? Sure. Why wouldn't I? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just trying to picture a little old version of yourself. <laughs> I got orders. Oh, wait, wait, I, I can cover your shift. You? Why not? Well, you got any experience? Of course. Well, I'll have you know that when I lived in New York, New York, I served in some of the finest restaurants. I, I thought you were an actress. Oh, actress, waitress, same thing. <laughs> well, I, I can't pay you much. Oh, that doesn't matter. Since I've been abandoned by my family, it's not like I've got anything else to do. Be here before the lunch rush. Lori, you won't regret this. My one and only specialty, beef stroganoff. A moment of truth. Hey, it's good. <laughs> Told you. You know, your Aunt Rhonda tries to help out around here. But let's face it, she messes up a lot, too. I feel the same about Russ. I've been thinking I'd do better on the flight assignment without him. I think he's just going to drag me down. Morning! Yeah. Oh, there's nothing quite like the thrill of starting a new job. Well, well, hey, it's just one shift. Oh, sure, but who knows? We might become best friends and, what you call it, job share. <laughs> we could run this place together. <laughs> yeah, well, I got a dash. Oh, oh, and don't forget to say hi to Ernie. Oh. Hi to Ernie! Ah. Not exactly a morning person, are we? <laughs> uh... So, Russ, working together or what? I don't want to drag you down. What are you talking about? I heard what you said to your dad last night. You what? If you think I'm so dumb, go build your flying machine yourself. All coming back, you know. Oops! <laughs> oh, I was exceptionally talented, you know. When I lived in New York, New York, they called me the forklift. Yes, I could lift six plates at once. <laughs> oh, coming, Ernie! Hold on to your hash browns. Oh, you need a refill. Here, I'll get that for you. Here, can you hang on to that for me? Just, oh, oh well, just feel free to distribute this amongst yourself. What are you doing out there? Oh, I'm coming! Oh. There. <laughs> you know, some waitresses just can't keep their cool. <laughs> oh, you see? Six plates on one hand. Oh. Oh. oh, Ned. Um, the, the toilet's right over there. Oh. Oh. 
work. A metal frame is ten times stronger than wood. I can hear the helicopter now. This is way more efficient. Easier. Now let's check out the aerodynamics. Two eyes. Oh boy, that twerp's gonna win the helicopter ride for sure. From what I saw, he deserves it. What do you mean? We deserve it. Whoa, we gotta do something. I could tell my mom to build a bigger rocket. Wait, I got a better idea. What's that? We steal Rupert's cape. Whoa. You want to refill already? Well, just don't yes. drink it so Excuse fast. Me. Just a minute. <laughs> there you go. Um, just a bill, yes, yes, I know, I know. I've got your bill. Hold on. Patience is a virtue, you know. Oh, Excuse no me, gold stars for you. You didn't eat your salad. <laughs> I'd like some water. <sighs> oh, this is so much fun. Uh, shouldn't you be working? Oh, my tootsies are not used to this. But you know, Russ, work is a great tonic. I cannot believe I let my brother take me for granted all those years. I don't know what you mean. <sighs> Rupert took me for granted, too. Oh, no. He'll come round. Why should he? I'm no help. Well, no. Maybe you just didn't like the topic. Actually, I love the topic. Y you ever have those dreams you're flying? <sighs> yes, I love those dreams. Oh, yeah. When you're floating way above everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just having a heart-to-heart -heart with one of Boxborough's best and brightest. Uh, well, that's great, but do you think you could do that when there aren't a million people to serve? Oh, oh forget it. Serve yourself. Oh, boy, that is the last time I help her. Oh. It's my fault. Oh, no, I'm the doofus, Russ. It's like neither of us can get anything off the ground. Off the ground? Off the ground, that's it! Oh, what's it? Off the ground, you! Come on! How goes the flight project? I got a third frame. Light as wood, it's strong as a metal rod. Oh, what's the new frame made of? High torque spun steel. Where'd you get that? My closet. Very smart. Wanna help me? I oh, wish that I could, but I gotta go make dinner. Stroganoff. But, Dad, we had Stroganoff last night. Well, like I said, it's my one and only specialty. Be right up. Please, oh, didn't feel like flying at all. Well, what we need is a rudder to keep you upright. Then you'll win the prize for sure. I think this is my best stroganoff yet. Better than your breakfast version? <laughs> stroganoff on toast? I thought that was pretty good. Hello? It's Russ. Is Rupert there? Come on up. He's come to return the cape. I can't believe he took it. He'd better. If he doesn't have it, I'll fail my assignment. Just give me the cape, Russ. You honestly think I'd steal it? Come on, Rube. It's me. Then who took it? Who cares? Flight emulator was a stupid idea anyway. But my idea isn't. Your idea? 
Yeah, see, I, I worked out this harness system. It really feels like you're flying. Yeah? Yeah, but I, I keep twisting around. Hmm. You need some kind of rudder. Hmm. Uh, any ideas? Maybe if we combine ideas. Hmm. Oh, nice cake. It's not working, though. The frame's still too heavy. If only we had... Yoo-hoo! And Rhonda! Oh, I couldn't resist. I was afraid your father might be malnourishing you. Nah, just overdosing on beef stroganoff. <sighs> How's the rudder working? Oh, it's not. And our demonstration is this afternoon. Well, we have to find a way to keep the cape rigid without using a frame. What about starch? 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 <gasps> Ross, you're brilliant! I am? There's one thing I know about, it's starch. Yeah, come on, we don't have much time. <sighs> so, your mom told you how to light this rocket, right? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Good. Now that we've eliminated the competition, that helicopter ride will be ours. We are gathered here in honor of the expansion of the Monsboro Airport and your projects on the theme of flight. So, let's begin. Where's Patterson? And Russ? Probably freaking out because their project's so lame. Let the demonstrations begin. Girls? Our project's on carrier pigeons, the world's first airmail. To demonstrate, we will release this pigeon into the air. It will return to its home within an hour. <laughs> Good riddance. Boys, I see you have a rocket here. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a replica of the, uh, uh, apple. Apple thing Apollo 11. Scud, why don't you tell us about it? Oh, me? Well, it's gonna go high into the sky. And, well, Tommy? Yeah. It's fueled by a compressed explosive package lit by an electronic charge. Let's have Scud fire it. Scud? But he doesn't know any. Ow! <laughs> Mrs. Lord. I worked so hard on this assignment, and it's only fair that Tommy gets to do something. Fire the rocket, Scud. Sure. How how hard could it be? if you'd known what you were doing. Now, Rupert and Russ. Rupert? Look, it's a loser with wings. Actually, it's a, it's a cape. Well, it's pretty lame, whatever it is. <clears throat> and what can you tell us about your project here, boys? Well, uh, let's see. It's a device that gives the feeling of flight. A comic book hero in flight. <laughs> this one's gonna majorly flop. Are you sure this is safe? Don't worry, Mrs. Lord. My Aunt Rhonda checked the whole thing. Well, in that case, bring on the safety mat. <laughs> and lower. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, we're ready. Safety first. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Go for it. Move out. Clear, please. Clear. Go, Ross! Yeah, you can do it! Oh, my gosh! 
Are you okay? Ross? Russell, are you all right? That was so cool. I want to try. I'm after you. Hey, you traitor. We're going to get the helicopter right. So what? It looks fun. What's this? Hey, so you're the one who stole my cape. This? This cape is yours? Tommy gave it to me. It's good. Well, congratulations, Rupert, on... Well, that was... It was very innovative. Actually, it was Russ's idea. Russ's? Yeah, he's the genius on this one. Well, top marks, Russell. I'm shocked and delighted. Way to go, buddy. Wow. How was the helicopter ride? It rocked. You could totally see everything from up there. It was even better than my dreams. Speaking of dreams, how about barbecued stroganoff? Oh. Dad, I can't take it. Aunt Rhonda might not have been the best cook, but at least she had variety. Well, I must admit I'm tired of it myself. Did I hear what I think I just heard? Sis? Oh, the boys had an extra seat. She deserved it, Dad. Yeah, she she starched up my cape big time. You? Yes, as a matter of fact, I proved myself rather useful. Well, Want to help with dinner? Well, I suppose I could roost here for a while. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> Would somebody tell me what's so funny? 